this first practice that we are going to be doing together, the formal homework for session one of this course is called Body Awareness Meditation. As I said previously, the process is not to do anything. I don't want you to change anything, not change your body position, just to simply be present. We're applying the concept of mindfulness to sensations in the body. This simply means to be present right now, allowing yourself to experience whatever happens. And it may not be easy. It may be the case that as we do this activity, the mind goes crazy, resisting and revolting and wandering. Maybe you even fall asleep. And these are all normal responses. Success is not, can you keep yourself fully present throughout the entire practice or follow the directions throughout the entire practice? Success is, can you see what your experience is completely? If the mind is agitated, do you notice that? If it comes easily, do you notice that? If there are difficulties, can you see them? And can you simply allow and accept anything that happens right now to be okay? If you haven't already closed your eyes, close them now. The first thing I want you to do is just simply relax. Let your whole body soften and get heavy. As you release down into the support of the floor, the pillow under the head. Relaxing the body. Begin to harness your own attention. Bring it here right now. Bring it inside your body right now. Take a moment to notice your entire body from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head, from the crown of your head all the way to the tips of your fingers. Your body is alive. This body of yours is not you. It is a tool to help you experience life joyfully. Can you notice the life inside of your body? As you make an attempt to see your complete body from the feet to the crown of the head, from the crown of the head to your fingertips, are there parts of your body that are difficult to see? And this is a special kind of seeing, right? Because you're not seeing with the two eyes, you're seeing with the mind. Perhaps it's the case you can't see your body at all. As we practice this body awareness meditation, make your best effort to bring your attention to the areas of the body that I point out. Noticing and feeling them without changing them. Noticing and feeling them with your full presence, but accepting if that's difficult. If the mind wanders, which it most surely will, it most surely will wander. When you notice that it has left, you don't criticize or judge. It's like a child behaving not badly, but innocently. You don't critique the body in a negative way. You don't critique the mind in a negative way. You just simply notice the mind wandered. And when you notice, not worrying about where it went or how often it leaves, your job is to bring it back. Jump right back into wherever we are in the process letting go of where the mind wandered to or your expectation about whether it should or should not have wandered. 
and starting from whatever point you re-enter. First, bring your attention to your two feet. Really bring your attention to your two feet. Try to see both your feet inside of your mind, the right foot and the left foot. As you bring your attention to your two feet, notice here, are the backs of the heels touching the ground in the same way? Is one leg longer than another, one heel more forward or more set back? How are the two feet positioned in space? You can't see them, but can you notice them? Again, success here is not whether or not it comes easily. Success is in the effort. Bringing all your attention and awareness to the two feet, attempt to see them in space right now and compare the two sides of the body. From an external perspective, what does the air feel like on the skin of your feet or the cloth of your socks? Can you feel the top of the feet and the bottom? All five toes on the right foot. Can you see all five toes on the left foot? Now go beyond. What does it feel like in the feet? Can you feel any tingling, any sensations? The whole body is filled with live energy. Can you bring your awareness to the two feet and experience it? Can you feel the beat of your own heart in your feet? As you notice your two feet here, be aware of any sensations in the body, resistance, any thoughts, working to not get attached to anything you notice, simply allow yourself to sit above or below this experiencing, the feelings, the thoughts, and just watch whatever happens as you look at the two feet right now. keeping your mind on the two feet. Now expand your attention. You can imagine your attention is like a flashlight. First you shine it on the two feet. You're waking your mind up to the two feet in space, to how they feel inside. Now look at the lower legs, from the ankles all the way to the knees. You can imagine that you paint your attention up and down the two lower legs. How do they feel outside? Are the backs of the calves resting onto the ground in the same way? Can you even tell? What does the mat feel like underneath the legs or the cloth of your clothing or the breeze from the fans? Can you feel the life inside of the legs? The pumping of blood? the activity of the cells, just try. Keeping your mind present with the two feet, with the lower legs from the ankles to the knees, now bring your attention to the upper legs. Try to see your two upper legs completely, from the knees all the way up to the hips. Notice the inner upper leg, the outer upper leg, the top of the thigh, and the back of the upper leg, the hamstring. 
What does the skin feel like? What does the ground beneath you feel like on the upper legs? The cloth from your clothing. Feeling the two upper legs from an external perspective go deeper, feel them internally. Can you feel the blood pumping inside the two upper legs? Can you feel the tingling from the cellular energy? Is there resistance in the body? Just notice. And now expand, expanding your flashlight of attention from the feet to the lower legs, the ankles to the knees, from the feet to the lower legs to the upper legs, from the knees to the hips. Now bring your awareness to the back of the body, from the buttocks all the way to the shoulders. Take a few moments to try to see the back of your body not with your eyes, but with your mind. How are the two buttocks lying onto the ground? Are you leaning to one side? <clears throat> Is the lower back lifted or pressed down? How are the shoulders on the floor? Are they the same on the right and the left? And go deeper. How does the back of your body feel? What are the sensations you experience? Tingling, the pumping of blood, pain? Take a few moments and just simply explore the back of your body. Keeping your mind aware from the feet to the hips, from the buttocks to the shoulders at the back. Now wrap your attention around the sides of the body, from the right hip to the right armpit, from the left hip to the left armpit. Try to feel the skin, the clothing on the skin, the rib cage just below the skin. You're not worrying about thinking, although you may notice your thoughts, but actually attempt to feel. Can you feel a tingling sensation? Can you feel the life that exists within the two sides of the body? Can you feel the beat of the heart? What about the space from the right hip to the right armpit, from the left hip to the left armpit, are they even? Is one side short? Can you even tell? And keeping your awareness from the feet to the hips, from the buttocks to the shoulders, from the hips to the armpits, now wrap your attention to include the front of the body, from the pubic bone all the way to the collarbones. Notice how the surface of the skin feels here. Notice what you can see and what you can't see. Can you see the front of your body with your mind? All parts of it? the soft skin of the belly, your belly button. How does the upper body feel at the front? Noticing externally the sensation of the clothing, but also internally. 
the soft tissue, the organs inside the belly, the rib cage. Notice any sensations you experience here. Can you feel the life inside the front of the upper body? Any tingling in the cellular energy? Can you feel the beat of your own heart? What's happening with the thoughts? As you explore your body in this way, what's happening with the breath? Let yourself notice any sensations and every sensation that exists right now. Try not to get caught up in it. Just simply experience it. Allowing yourself to notice the good and the bad and the in-between. Invite all experiences in. And keeping your awareness, the two lower legs, the entire upper body, all the way to the shoulders. Now expand to include the two arms. Take your time investigating the right arm from the shoulder to the elbow, from the elbow to the wrist, from the wrist to the tips of the five fingers on the right hand. Noticing the left arm as well, from the shoulder to the elbow, from the elbow to the wrist, from the wrist to the tips of the five fingers on the left hand. How are the two arms lying on the ground? Are they lying in the same way? Can you tell? Are they relaxed? Is there tension? Can you tell? Notice the outside, the feeling of the skin and how it changes from the soft skin on the palm of the hand or underneath the upper arm to the rough skin of the knuckles, the elbow, can you notice any differences in the way the skin feels? How does the clothing feel on top of the skin? If you have a t-shirt on, what does the fabric feel like? What does the floor feel like? And then go deeper. How does it feel inside the two arms? Can you feel the life, the tingling from the cellular energy or the beat of the heart? Try to feel the beat of the heart in the fingertips. In the palm of the hand. In the wrists. Let yourself notice any experiences that are happening right now as you look at the two arms completely from the shoulder all the way out to the fingertips. And then expand your awareness. Now looking at the feet all the way to the hips, the hips all the way to the shoulders, the shoulders out to the hands. Expand your attention to include your neck, the front, the sides, the back. How does it feel? the surface of the skin, 
the position of your neck, the length between the shoulder and the ear on the right, the shoulder and the ear on the left, is it the same? Can you feel the beat of the heart inside of the throat? Can you feel it at the back of the neck? And then expand again. And now look at your entire skull from the back of the head resting onto the ground, to the forehead, to the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the cheeks and ears. Make an attempt to see with the mind your entire skull, all sides of it. Are you squeezing the eyes closed? Are you clenching the jaw? Are you squeezing the lips together? Is the head relaxed? How does it feel to have the fan blowing wind onto the skin of your face? What does the ground beneath the back of your skull feel like? And then go deeper. How does it feel inside of the skull? Is there tension in the brain? Are the eyes heavy? Where is your tongue inside of your mouth? Can you feel the life inside of your face? Can you feel the cellular energy? Can you feel heat? Can you feel the beat of your heart? What are the thoughts doing? Are they wanting to make logic out of everything? Right now I'm looking at my face. See that thought. Don't be that thought, just see it. Notice the breath. Can you feel yourself breathe inside of your face? Now that you've expanded to bring your attention and awareness to the entire body, take a few moments to scan yourself again from the feet slowly upwards. Look for areas of the body that you have difficulty noticing. Is it hard to see your knees or your hips or your shoulders? Is it hard to feel the skin of the back of the leg or the upper arm? Where do you feel as though the mind has gone dark when it comes to your own unique body? And then keeping this awareness of your complete body. Take a moment now to imagine that you're standing above yourself, looking down. Are you using your body in the best way possible to support your health? Are you aligning the two sides of your body evenly? Are you working to wake up your mind to the parts of your body you have a hard time connecting with? 
see yourself lying here right now and notice, are you lying in a way that supports your health? Is your chest open? Are your shoulders relaxed? Are your legs free of tension? Is the head tilted in some way? Take these moments to see yourself as clearly as possible. Your body is telling you right now what it needs. Wake up to it. As we work systematically through the body, the mind wanders, and you bring it back. Do you notice that it's difficult to keep your attention in your body? Can you bring your attention back? Notice now how you feel. Let go of working to view your entire body with your mind's eye. And instead, simply stay here for a few moments, noticing how it feels to practice looking. You're looking, you're seeing. You're not changing. You're just assessing. How does it feel to notice? However it feels, can you accept that? Can you accept that the practice is to do nothing except look? Just try. Bring your attention to your breath for a moment. Let yourself take a deep inhalation through your nose and then a full exhale through your nose. On the next inhalation, let your eyes blink open. Slowly begin to move your body around as you make your way back into the space. 